guys, you are on a very precarious perch at the moment. <laughs> I got a new tripod for Christmas and it doesn't fit my big camera and I wanted to use my big camera to film today because I wanted to use my phone for the questions. Today I'm gonna to be getting ready for our Valentine's Day date that we're going on tonight. But I thought just to like mix it up a little bit, I'm going to do a random question generator. I'm hoping we get some good ones here. I'll just quickly tell you about our Valentine's Day plans so that I don't forget to do that later. So this year we decided to not do gifts and then we're gonna, we wanted to go to an experience, so to do something together. So we were gonna go to Disney on Ice that's in Milwaukee, but um, I kind of waited till the last minute, so that didn't really work out. Um, I am gonna go in with my Trust my heat protectant. This is like the OG. I've literally used this since I was like 13 or 12. Like I said, we were gonna go to Disney on Ice and then it ended up not working out. So then, we weren't really sure what we were gonna do. We were probably just gonna eat dinner at home and like go bowling or something. But then my grandma, so kindly and graciously, sent us some money and she told us that we should go out to like a nice dinner, which we don't really ever do. So that's what we're doing. We're going to um, this restaurant. I'll put it here because I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a French restaurant. I'm very excited to say the least. I'm using my new curling iron that I got. It's the Hot Tools one and a quarter inch. Okay, so now for the random questions. Um, this first question is what chore do you absolutely hate doing? And Honestly, I'm gonna go with dishes. That used to not be my answer, but we have not had a dishwasher in either of the places that we have lived in since we got married. And I grew up with a dishwasher. Now that I don't have it, it's like the most annoying thing ever to have to hand wash every single dish. So, definitely that's my least favorite chore to do. is what would you do if you had enough money to not need a job so that is an interesting question I have found personally in my life not having a job and not having something like to do every day is actually not my favorite thing and I think most people would probably agree with that and as much as like everyone loves to complain about going to work having work to do is really like a big purpose in your life and if you don't have something to do every day um you really don't like if you don't have a purpose a, a reason that you're getting out of bed you're not going to if i had enough money to not need a job i would definitely just pursue um things that are fun for me to do that i could even like make money with so they could end up being a job but I would definitely be traveling more and doing more creative things. I love music, I love art, I love videography, all of that. So I'd probably just put like a ton more time into doing that. Okay, so I am now on to the second layer of hair and we're going to answer another question. Here is the next question. This is a good one. What's the dumbest rule you've been forced to follow? So that is interesting. <laughs> I really like that question. I grew up in um, some interesting situations. I'm not exactly sure how to go about this so I'm trying to figure out like what to say. Basically I grew up and then chose to go to a really strict like Christian college um, which is fine like if that's you know everyone's style I've really realized it's not mine but that is totally okay if it's your style um, but I have been forced to follow a lot of rules that are I think dumb but that's another conversation um, <laughs> 
I'll just go ahead and say one of the dumbest rules I had to follow, in my opinion. Man, I really don't know like what to say. Because I don't want to say anything I shouldn't say on the internet, you know? Gotta be really careful about that. But I'm gonna have to just like go with a light and easy one. In college, um, I lived in a dorm, and we were made to turn the lights off at 11 p.m. So, and that was on weeknights. So on the weekends, I think it was like midnight that we could turn them off. And um, it didn't matter if everyone in your room was awake. It didn't matter um, any, like, if your roommate said it was okay to have the light on. At 11 p.m., the lights had to go out. And I know the reasoning behind why they had the rule, and I get the reasoning. It was just, to me, it was really dumb, I guess, if, like, both roommates are okay with having the light on. But again, they were just trying to foster a community where, like, people were taken care of well. So, like, if someone was too scared to say that they didn't want the light on or it was bothering them or annoying them that the light was on, it's 11 p.m., the light had to be off. Um, but I actually would have, like, the RA come into our room and she would literally like open the door and she would just look at us and be like it's lights out and shut the light off when we were both like sitting there doing homework so I would definitely say that was probably one of the dumbest rules I've had to follow in my life that one was one of the ones ironically that made me the most angry but now I live in my own house and I can shut my lights off at 5 in the morning if I want and that is my favorite thing in the world another random question it's what is something you are obsessed with definitely drinks not alcoholic however I don't mind the occasional mimosa or margarita but as far as like I always have to have a drink it's kind of crazy um, all my friends know me that way I'm constantly wanting to have like I feel weird if I don't have something to drink and it was just today at work. I went to work and I forgot my water at home. And I was sitting there and I was like, oh, I need a drink, I just need a drink. I felt so out of place because I didn't have anything to drink. So that is definitely what I'm probably obsessed with, being hydrated. All right, we're gonna answer the next random question. What profession doesn't get enough credit or respect? Immediately, I think of teachers. Um, I do have a, quite a few friends who are teachers, and I actually almost became a teacher, a music teacher. But I changed my mind because it's way harder than you think it is. Um, I think being a teacher is one of the most important professions because you know, the future is like in our kids, in our younger generations. And so training them to know what they should and to act how they should and all of that, I think is very important and it's not easy. And I think teachers are definitely underpaid. Um, they do a lot of work and usually being a teacher, if you're a good teacher, your work does not stop at you're at school it comes home with you and I know a lot of teachers who put in a lot of time to try to really just make the life of their students better so that would be my answer what would your warning label say if every person was required to have one Oh, that is an interesting question. Honestly, I feel like mine would say, may ask you a million times if you're okay and never believe your answer and be annoying about it. And then wonder and second guess all of your actions and motives when she gets too into her head. <laughs> Definitely something I do in friendships. Um, probably one of my biggest flaws that hurts my relationships the most. Um, I just really am an overthinker. I love to second guess and analyze everything someone says and then assume that they mean it a certain way when they don't. 
And then be really upset and hurt when they didn't even do anything wrong. It's the best. So <laughs> that would definitely be it. Okay, we're gonna do one more question while I'm doing my hair. What do you judge people for that you probably shouldn't? Oh, exposing myself. I don't know how to answer that because obviously everyone judges people, whether they admit it or not, you make judgments of people in your brain. And I would say I have a really big tendency to judge people very harshly, even if it's not in like a bad way. I just like, I make a very rounded opinion of someone. It's not rounded, but like in my mind, I'm like, I know exactly who this person is from the first time I meet them. So if I have a very bad experience with you the first time I meet you, I'm probably most likely to not really like you very much. So I would say that is probably something I shouldn't judge people on. First impressions would definitely be something I think I judge people too harshly on. What was one of the best days of your life? Okay, so I'm going to answer this and not say my wedding because I feel like that's pretty obviously one of the best days of your life. Um, and then I'm going to have to say that one of the best days of my life was when we got Maui. So like besides my wedding, because that's super cliche, um, was when we got our dog. So that's like a whole story I might be able to tell on my channel. If you would be interested, comment down below. Sorry, that was like really obnoxious. But um, it's a really cute story, like how we found her and how we ended up getting her. So I would love to tell you guys that story, but the day we actually got to bring her home, um, I literally was so excited. I like went to Home Goods the day before and like bought her food bowls and her leash and like all of her stuff and toys and food and everything. And it was just like one of the most exciting times of my life. How different do you act when you are with acquaintances versus people you are comfortable with? Um, I would say pretty different actually. I'm a pretty like shy person when I first get to know people. So like when I don't know you super well, um, I either get really like nervous and start saying random stuff that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, and then you think I'm like a really weird person because of all the stuff I'm saying or I don't talk at all. Whereas when I'm around someone, like, I'm pretty, like, level-headed and balanced. Like, I don't say random crap that doesn't mean anything. So, yeah. Very different. What is your phone or computer wallpaper? Okay, so I have my phone pulled up. It's hard to see, like, my... Um, home screen wallpaper. It's a Taylor Swift lyric um, from Paper Rings. I want to drive away with you. I want your complications too. I want your dreary Mondays. Wrap your arms around me, baby. I just thought it was cute in Valentine's Day-ish and then I don't know what my... Oh yeah, this is my lock screen. It actually has some bad words in it and I didn't realize it until I made it my lock screen and I haven't changed it. But it's just a lot of like random like motivational things. I actually got this off of an Instagram I follow that does like graphic design and stuff. So I'll actually put her name right here because I can't remember it at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner and my mascara off camera. And then I will be back to wrap up the video. Okay, so I put on a red lip. And I'm not sure I feel about it. I never wear red lips because of this particular reason. Every time I put it on, I don't know if I like it. I did do like eyeliner and mascara and like it kind of got like a little carried away. Definitely not my favorite look I've ever done. So the final question, what is the best and worst thing about the country that you live in? I really like this question. So I live in America, um, in case you didn't know that. 
Um, I would say the best thing about America is our freedoms and just that like everyone is really able to do and be who they want to be and I think that's a really great thing in America. But along with that, one of the worst things in America is I think everyone's like they feel like we have so much freedom that we almost like impose who we are as Americans on other people and other cultures. Um, and this is just like coming from my perspective. I just think a lot of times like we as Americans, we see something a certain way and if another person disagrees with us, like even another American, like they just see something a completely different way, we just totally write them off and think that they're completely idiotic because they don't agree with the way that we see something. Um, because we have grown up in America where we're able to have our own opinions and I think that's a great thing. But I also think America has really turned into like the right and the left just kind of like yelling at each other about all the things that they don't agree on when I think it's a lot easier to obviously stand for what you believe in and have your opinions but to maybe try to see things from other people's perspective and to also try to understand where people are coming from because you can't really have an intelligent conversation if you don't really know where someone's coming from. So that would be my best and worst thing about the country I live in. Thank you for watching today's video. If you liked it, go ahead and like the video and show me that. You can comment down below. I think I asked for a few feedback things down below. I'd really love that. And then also if you want to subscribe to my channel, it just really helps the girl out. I will probably put in a picture here of what I ended up wearing and stuff um, in case you're curious because you saw me get ready. So thanks again. I'll see you guys next time.